action. Hey folks, Darren and Josh from Vienna Auto Sales. This video is for John and Marie from Maryland. They purchased this van. It's going to be shipped out to them tomorrow. So what I want to do is just kind of go through it and show you guys buttons and switches and stuff like that. Since you're not here to show it, I'll do it on video. So Zach's going to help me out. Uh, let's just uh, hop inside and, and uh, I'll give you a quick rundown. You getting in the front? Sure. All right. So this is it. The um, we talked about uh, you guys needing the four seats. So obviously these can be removed, and the four seat will go with it. That goes there. Uh, these are very easy to twist and lock, right, Zach? Yep. Put this one in. Yep. Easy. So um, microwave. Obviously you got your lights. When you put the seat here, this obviously stays there, so you can still you have your microwave. Um, refrigerator. It's uh, gas and electric. Got your two burner stove sink. Um, in here is the switch for to turn to activate the water heater. It has a little inline hot water heater, uh, and this pick this spout is for the hot water. So you flip that switch on, and then this is where you turn it on and off when you use it. Show them which one the hot water is. Black handle. The black handle is hot water. The pump right there. There is water in it. There's propane in it. It's turnkey running and using right now. Um, this is the furnace. Let's see, they put these in, that's extra lights. They're, they're, those run on 110, not 12 volt. Then this is your bathroom area. You go like that, go like that, and you do the same with this door. And now you have privacy. <laughs> and that's Zach, hi Zach. Hello. So, a lot of, a lot of storage in here, and then obviously you're just your normal RV toilet. And you just pull those handles to open up the doors. Yes, good point. Yes. Give him a give him a pull like that. Don't be wimpy about it. Right? Right. Right. Okay, moving on to the back here. Ow. This is obviously your dinette. Folds down into a bed. Um up in this cover, there's a radio up here. It's a factory Dodge radio. Ooh, oh Ready. yeah. So flip open the cupboard there. And that cupboard is a toggle switch. You flip that toggle switch. And that turns on this back radio. It's very nice static right now because that you just plugged it in. But uh, so you can use when you're laying in bed at night. You can turn your radio on and have your nice music, and then you plug this fan in. You got a fan back here too, so that's a 12 volt fan that oscillates. Yeah, like that. Yeah, turn it on. Leave it on. That feels good. Fine. Yeah, cool. Obviously, you got your air conditioning here. Feel your hair blowing through the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then this is the thermostat for the air conditioning. There's, a, there's like a thermostat here, but I think that one didn't work or it's whatever, but this is the thermostat. Air conditioner works good. Uh, place for a TV, but you probably put a flat screen in this anyways. You got two thermostats on the wall right there. One thermostat is for the furnace. The other thermostat is for the, the ceiling fan that you can, yeah, way up there, yep. So you can have that either exhaust or intake, flip back and forth either way. And then a thermostat controls that, so if you're sleeping in the middle of the night and it's 40 degrees outside, it will shut off if you don't freeze. Uh, let's see, let's show them underneath the seat. They were also, you guys were also concerned about seat belts. Got two seat belts on each side for these. Now let me pop this off. So here. And underneath here is a bunch of camping stuff that you guys will be able to use. Extra hose, all kinds of, this all, all this stuff came with this van. She was very meticulous about this van. Uh, all kinds of extra light bulbs, extra parts. Uh, so there's some stuff that you could probably use. Everything on this van, she had covers for everything when she stored this thing. Covers for the tires, for the windshield wipers, for all the windows. 
Um, she even had the spare tire wrapped in saran wrap so it would stay fresh. So very meticulous about this thing. Underneath there you got a nice little trunk. And I don't know if you can see in there, but there's um, uh, the stuff for changing the tire, a jack, um, special sockets, breaker bar, all that stuff. So there's that. Here's the stuff that you get with it as well. Um, these are custom made for each window in this vehicle. I don't know if you ever use these things, but she's got them labeled and where they go. Um, so you can block off every single window while it's stored so heat doesn't get in and you don't wear the fabric out from the sun and that kind of stuff. So you get that. You get the previously discussed fourth bucket seat for the seat belt. And today, today only, you're going to get this. Now, this is supposed to be a cover for a camper van, so when you're not using it, it's a brand new cover for it. Um, it didn't come with this van, but it's going to be, it's hot where you guys are at, and the van is nice. I want to keep it nice. I'm going to throw that in with it free. If you can use it, great. If not, crazy. What's the thing, so. Zach, am I missing anything else? No. No? Yeah. Do a quick lap around the outside a minute? Yep. Okay. Underneath there is the battery for the coach. It's like a brand new Die Hard. Um, under there, that works real nice. Just take the screws out, pop this off, slides out. Uh, that's for the back of the refrigerator. This is for the vent for the furnace. It's just a real nice clean coach. It's uh, very solid, very clean. Air conditioner up top. Spare tire is good as well. We checked that. Uh, this is where you fill your water tank up. Obviously, there's your electric. Uh, we just broke that, so we're going to replace that tomorrow. So you have a door. Um, that's where the uh, you store your sewer hose. Now some gas. That's where you hook up your water. These tires go round and round. They're yeah, they're black. Um, there's your dump. It's actually a new valve on it as well. Uh, propane tank is this side or that side? Nope, it's on the other side. So there's a quick rundown on the van. Wish, you, uh, wish we could meet you guys in person, but at least this way you get an idea of what stuff is, where stuff is. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the van. Thanks a lot for your purchase. We certainly appreciate it. So I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.